Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sunday night, live energy focus for the week. Come on in and join me. I'm streaming over here on Facebook in the Empowered Spirit Circle. I'm about to go live over on Instagram. Come on in and join me. Let's talk about the cosmic forces for the week. Let's align our energy and look to the tarot for guidance as well. Give me some thumbs up. Let me know that you are here. Going live over on Instagram. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Sunday night live. Time to focus our energy, talk about what's going on, realign, pull it in for the week. So come on in and join me. Give me some hearts. Give me some thumbs up. Give me some roses. Let me know you're here. All right. This is my live energy focus where I come on for the Empowered Spirit Show to talk about all of this. So on the Empowered Spirit Show this week, I did a beautiful channeled message. Channeled right in, put it right out of the summer energy. What we can really work towards, how we can use our own energy to really open up to the summer. Summer will be here in about another week. All right, I know it feels like it, but we're not quite there. So the channeled message, really, I think it's very inspirational. Talking about our truth, talking about where we are, talking about doing things that we love, that empower us, and not doing things for other people that think we should do, that we think we should do. Check it out. It's a beautiful guided meditation. You can find it on all the podcast apps. Shout out to my sponsor, Murd and everyone over at Forecast Salon, a hair salon in Birmingham, really dedicated to empowering her people with creativity, education, and all the many things. They just did a beautiful Magic City Fashion Week. So much inspiration. It was over the top, if you ask me. It was amazing. So thank you, thank you, thank you to my sponsor and Forecast Salon. Check them out if you need a new hairstyle, for sure. All right, so this week, is a lot of energy building. All right, we're coming into the very end of the spring and we have a full moon building, all right? <sighs> Tuesday it comes in, so the light is increasing. The full moon is in Sagittarius. So Sagittarius energy is all about the ever searching for more knowledge, the explore, the wandering, self-development. We have all that energy with Sagittarius. So how does that work with us now? What does that mean as we go into this full moon? So the energy allows you, that vibration that comes in, because everything's energy, everything has vibration. So that vibration allows you to open up, to get out of your comfort zone. All right, you've been talking about this for a while, and now here we have this beautiful full moon that's going to be beautiful in the sky, that's going to allow you to really shine light on where you're stuck. Shine light on where you're holding the same patterns. Shine light on the fear that keeps you from stepping into that energy. So the Sagittarius energy can help you like be a little curious, open up your imagination, try something different, learn a new skill. All of this energy is coming forward. And what a perfect time because summer energy is coming up. We're finishing the spring, all that planting, all that energy we set out. And now it's like almost like, okay, let's be curious. Let's see where this is going to take us. And lots of times when you plant new energy, you do feel a little raw. You do feel like, I don't know which direction I'm going in, right? And some of that is the Sagittarius is combined with the Gemini. All right, so there is a lot of similarity in, in Gemini and Sagittarius, but there is a loss, loss. There is also a lot of difference as well. Gemini opens the energy. It's also very adventurous. It's an air sign. It helps us to look at both sides, and that's really what we need right now. No more following the masses. No more just doing everything as we've always done it. So you may feel a lot of things have been shooken up in your world right now. That is okay. Allowing yourself to really sit with those higher vibrations of energy is going to be really powerful for you. All right, so every time we come into the full moon, right, the moon is empowered by the sun. It's coming into fullness. So we always have like the higher side of the astrological of the planets, of the energy. We also have the lower side. So that higher part of Sagittarius, which is really kind of where we want to lift our energy to, is all about getting out of the comfort zone, doing new things, breaking down some of the energies that keep you stuck. And the lower side can be about like uh, worrying a little too much, 
not having faith that you can make changes, not really trusting yourself that you can get out of your own way. And that's the lower side. So we want to open that up and be curious. Bring in the energy of curiosity. It does help lift your vibration. Lift it to explore. Know that as you explore, like, it is unknown. And that is okay. And I think that really can help, like, get out of that, that, Stuck energy, that comfort zone, that things that we do all the time. So even like one little step forward, go a different way, change your routine, do something different. That's going to help break that pattern for you. And some of the higher aspect of Gemini is really that like expansion energy, looking at both sides, helping you to understand. And the lower energy being that maybe it's moving too fast. Maybe you're feeling ungrounded. All right. So we really want to find the balance of all of this energy and finding the ways in which you can feel grounded, but also how you can open up to the new possibilities that are coming in. Even the smallest step, I just said this, I know, but even the smallest step forward, make a change in your routine, change the way you're doing things. That can help you to start to open up to new ideas and new ways of understanding. It really can. And that's where we're at right now, especially as we come out of one season and move into another. We want to take that energy forward and then we want to allow for the growth. So today and tomorrow, the work to be done today and tomorrow is Put your highest intentions out there. Go back and look at what it is you set new energy out. March, April, May, all of the spring. This is the last chance. Like, put it out there with that beautiful, huge full moon energy. You'll see it tonight. Then, as we move through the full energy, that's when we start to release. And that's why it's always so transformational. We have this light, this fullness, and then we let go, right? But tonight and tomorrow, put out your full intentions. When that full moon comes in, just vibrate, embody Take that energy in of your highest possibilities. There's infinite possibility. Do not limit yourself right now. And then as you move towards the end of the week, you start to let go of some of that excess energy, especially the emotional energy, right? We don't want to hold that around. No emotion is ever final. So we want to keep moving the energy through as the light of the cycle changes, all right? Kika Ferry, headquarters galore. Yes, we want to be in that imaginal realm. Why not have imagination? Why not have fun on your path? You always hear me say, spirit loves amusement. So as you step out of your own way and as you do new things, have amusement. Let me see what it'll be like instead of like, it's got to be this way, all right? I was teaching a Reiki master teacher training class today, learning how to teach the Reiki 2 classes from a couple of my Reiki master te uh, practitioners. And I noticed for myself, too, like I'm teaching differently. You know, I'm teaching in a new way. Energy for Reiki has opened up, and it's allowing us to open up all of these boundaries. I could have stayed in the same way, but it's like, no. Let's approach everything from a new perspective because everything is shifting. Everything is changing. Why not the path that you're on? Especially if you feel like you're doing things for other people. You're living a path someone else wants you to do. You're following the family business, but you don't really want to do it yourself. Where can you just take that little step forward, make a little shift in energy, and know your truth? All right, we had all that eclipse energy, which started to break it all up. Now it's the actual living, that part for you. All right, we do have some aspects going on. Mercury has gone direct. It's back in Gemini. So you may notice that some of the struggle you may have had with communication is opening up. Now is a good time to have some of those conversations. Maybe you were stuffing down. Open the throat. Be communicative. Mercury is right there for you. Saturn is gone retrograde. All right, I know we never talk about Saturn retrograde. We always talk about Mercury retrograde. But Saturn is that structure and foundation for your life. All right, really important that you start to relook at that. You know, how are you doing your work? What kind of structure can you shift and change? What about your schedule? How can you look at it differently? And so sometimes Saturn has that bad rap of, oh, it's heavy, it's responsibilities, which it is, it is true. But when we have the retrograde, it is an opportunity for you to really, really reevaluate the way in which you structure your life. So don't be afraid again. Don't be afraid to change some of those structures. Look at the way in which you do your routines and open up that energy, all right? So that's really important. We also have a little bit of Mercury, I mean, um, Neptune energy, which is like your dream time. That's coming in. Notice your dreams. Very important right now for that. Noticing what you're dreaming about. Noticing those images. Make a little diary if you need to, and so you can write it down. And notice 
for yourself. I had a dream last week, and I thought, like, that was the oddest thing. Why did I dream about that? Guess what? I experienced what I dreamed about on Saturday. I'm, like, kind of going, oh, my gosh, you can't make this stuff up. I don't think you can make it up when it comes to spirit. And I really think right now, and as I talk about last week even on the podcast, talking about the summer energy this week, talking about that channeled message, Really finding that amusement in your life right now. Really opening up to the growth that can have come forward for your path, your soul. No matter, even if you feel like you've done a 360 and where you were last year at this time, I feel like I have, and where you're going forward. That's what we need right now. Shake up, raise the vibration, be in that higher truth of who you are. Help make a difference in all that we're doing, all right? So again, just to kind of take this in, Notice the moon tonight, bring in that radiant light, let it just shine all the way down on you. Set your intentions as full as you can, even if that means going back and looking at the intentions you set at the beginning of the spring. Renew that vibration, like whatever it is you want to manifest for this year, because that's what spring is about. Put that highest intention out. Full moon will come in Tuesday morning, really early, about 5.30 central time, so I don't know where it is for you, but... Notice that that energy then will start to shift and we hold that highest vibration for about a day and a half. So by Thursday, Friday, you start in the release phase. You'll start to notice the moon isn't as full and this is when you let go of any excess energy from all of that, especially emotional energy. Full moons are known to really hold that emotional energy and bring it in. All right, it is a fun week ahead. I love the full moons. It can be a little bit intense. I always say, oh, I don't love the full moons, but I love seeing the full moons. And then the more grounded you are, the more control of your emotional body you can have. So don't let yourself get too far out there with the Sag energy and dream and dream and dream. Bring some of that practical energy into the elemental path your day-to-day life. All right, so let's just take all of this amazing light that is building now and take a moment and center our energies together. All right, so wherever you are, if you can, take a moment. If you have a little sage or palo santo or incense, go ahead and light it. And begin this process of pulling your energy in, taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, calling in your spirit. Call your energy back from the week, from the weekend. Just call it back. Energy follows intention. Feel it coming around. As you take another deep inhale, up the body. And exhale, bring it all the way down as you drop into your heart. Right into the deepest part of your heart. Feel that connection to source. God, spirit, creator, whoever you believe in, that higher power. Feel that connection right into the center of your heart. Know that you were known. Know that you were loved. Just feel how good that is to come in and feel that support for you right now. And then we go to create this space for this week. We call in the masters, the teachers, the archangels, the crystal beings, Calling in your own spirit guides to work with you and through you to surround you and protect you as you open up to this week. And just taking a moment now and just imagining yourself right at the edge of the east, the direction of east for spring, seeing yourself about to cross into that new direction and just taking a moment honoring the energy of the east, the new beginnings, the seeds that you've planted, the winged ones that fly above, honoring all of this energy for your path. And we call in directions for guidance and protection to the east, the south, the west, and the north, above you, below you, right into the very center. Set your intentions for this week. Feel the vibration deep within. How do you want to feel as you bring these vibrations in for you? And allow those elevated emotions to come from your heart. And radiate out the peace, the joy, the love, the light, whatever it is for you. Setting those intentions out there for you. Breathing. Allow yourself to feel this energy all around you as you set the energy out. Releasing the attachments but embodying those elevated emotions. Feel the fullness of the moon. Imagine it just radiating This magnetic energy, this light for you to attract your intentions. Inhaling and exhaling. Starting to send all the energy down, grounding your energy. Feel your awareness of your energy body coming in so that you can focus 100% of your energy. Take another deep inhale and exhale. Bringing that awareness back. 
blinking the eyes open, coming back. As we go to look for the cards, look to the cards for guidance. So the first card that comes up is the Seven of Earth, okay, which is reminding us to ground. It's reminding us to look at the work that we've done for the spring. I think that's a beautiful way of looking at this card. Noticing the vines are growing, the roses are growing, and here's one that's a little bit enlarged, which is calling our attention there. But then we see this eye coming here. Seven is our spiritual number. This is actually calling you to look deeper within. There is something in the work that you're doing that needs a little bit more attention. Sometimes we can put our work all out there. So this is calling you to focus in, use your third eye center to understand more of an aspect of your work right now that you are needing to focus in on, all right? Now, the cards that come in to help you move through this is one is the moon love this of course full moon always a great time notice your own intuitive guidance notice are you trusting your gut or are you caught in the illusions of life of illusions of what you want all right this card always reminds us to really tune into that innate ability we all have so that you can focus in on what it is you need to look at and you can focus in on the changes and then the card that comes right up behind it is the eight of fire. So this is about being ready for that new portal of energy, that new season ahead. So really aligning your energy, noticing that new path for you, being ready so that you can move through the energy and really allow yourself to soar. Lots of times they talk about this as swift action. All right. Hey, Ann E, we were talking about you in our teacher training today, our Reiki master training. All right, two of air. All right, so this is some of the Gemini energy. This is a, like, I can't make a decision. I can't decide. Do I want to do this or do I want to do this? And I want to do this, but I want to do this. All right, see how the arrows are crossed here. See how those, those, those swords are crossed here. So it's really asking you to make some decisions, all right? We don't want to let that, that lower vibration of both Sagittarius and Gemini catch you to where you're so overwhelmed, so many new ideas, so many possibilities that you don't ground your energy and that you can't make decisions. Always important that we make decisions when we need it. Now, always important that we do make decisions. And so sometimes you'll make a decision like, okay, I'm not ready to decide is what I'm trying to decide. But when you do that, it takes you out of confusion and it takes you out of feeling indecisive. When you say, you know what, there's not enough information here. I need to do a little more research. I need to think about it a little longer. So much better than feeling this cross energy of telling yourself one thing, telling yourself another, telling yourself another. So understand where you are. It's the element of air, and it brings in some of that Gemini energy we've been talking about. All right, so as we move forward, going back, looking around, notice your own self. Where is your work? What in your work needs a little more attention as you grow what you're doing? Tune into your intuition. Know the difference between your intuition and illusion. What are you telling yourself? Bring your energies together. Really get your spring energy in alignment because that portal for the new season of growth and opportunity is going to come forward for spirit and amusement as well. And really notice your mind. Are you keeping yourself stuck in indecision? Are you able to then really clarify where you are? I need to make a decision. I don't need to. I want to do this, and I'm going to stand by it. All right, so get out of the indecision if you can this week. All right? Take a nice deep inhale. Let me know how this resonates with you. If you'd like a card, I'd be happy to offer. All right? Lots coming forward. I will just jump in and say that on the full moon, if you're in the Energy Mastery app, we do a ceremony every full moon. It'll be Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Join me in the app, meditation, so that you can bring the ceremony out. And if you're not, the Radiant Light Challenge begins on the summer solstice. It's an opportunity for you to build your practice. 21 days of guided meditation. Really important that we do that. All right, and then you get the whole membership and everything going on, and it's a great way self-study live teachings as well all right and then i'll tell you more of what's going on all right got a lot of requests here jumping right in all right let's see here um kika looks like you're the first to ask kika how's everything out in san diego kika you got the two of earth all right i love this card because it reminds us of our boundaries are you taking on too much of any of someone else's energy or are you holding your boundaries all right Really important to hold the boundaries right now. Really, this will help you to know your truth instead of feeling like, I want to please, I want to open up, I want to do everything for everyone. So it is really important that you know the boundaries and this card comes in to remind us where are we juggling our life and when we have so many things going on, 
boundaries are even more important. All right, Kiko, where is that landing for you? All right, Buffy, how are you over here? Buffy, Ace of Earth, new beginnings coming in. All right, you're about to walk through a gate. Look at the gate is opening up. So take this energy forward, especially as you move into the summer, and walk through that new opportunity. Aces are always about potentials. So what is it in there for you that now you can open up to? You bring it forward. Great. Yay. Absolutely. All right. Summer. Yay. You joined us instead of texting me. All right. Summer. Card for me, please, and one for Jason. All right. Summer. The star. I love this summer. The star. Star, this is about that renewed faith in your own path. All right, I know you feel this. Bring it in. Transformation is coming. Open up. Know that you are being divinely guided. All right, beautiful. Let me know how you think about that. Jason, Jason, you got the six of earth. Six of earth is about harmony. It's about really noticing where you are in harmony. It's group two, it's two threes. So it's really about opening up, collaborating on your work and bringing it out into the world a little bit more, but also really too appreciating having harmony for the earth, the work that you have created. If you see, there's just beautiful, a lot of roses here. The rainbows are coming in. You've got this hand offering you the abundance for your life. Beautiful card as well. All right, Buffy says, thank you, that makes sense. Ernest, Ernest, what's going on over there in Singapore? How are you? Ernest, 10 of Earth. This is always a beautiful card. This is when you offer happiness. You look at the work that you have created. You see how things are lining up. Again, Earth is our work, our physical world. And really, sometimes it does make you think like, okay, let me take a moment of gratitude that all of that I have created, I'm working for what I want. And sometimes it does ask you, like, are you working for what you want? Or are you just working to make a living? But this really does indicate there is so much happiness around. Don't forget to offer gratitude because we take this energy and what comes after 10 is one, a new beginning will follow. All right, let me know how that resonates for you. All right, Ash, how are you? Ash, we got the justice card. All right, so this is about sometimes karma, all right, setting those scales in balance. Sometimes it could indicate some kind of legal legal attention that needs to come up for you. And sometimes it's really just like really feeling where in your life do you feel unjustified? Where do you feel in balance? And where can you bring that energy together? I always kind of do this. I love that it's also the card 11. And he sits between both of that energy. So where are you sitting between the karma and the justice within your own life? All right, Kika says, thank you. All right. All right, Mary Douglas. Mary Douglas, you got the four fires. So this is about just continually working on your home, setting your sage, really aligning that energy for you, and preparing for the things that are coming next. It's like fly your flags, be happy, and know that you are creating a beautiful environment to celebrate the work that you've done. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, Summer says, thank you. Annie, 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 how are you? Annie, you got the world. So Annie, there is some conclusion coming around. Perfect, perfect alignment for the spring. All right, and this just like shows you the unity of where you are and bring that whole energy forward. It's also about opening up, freeing yourself and shining your light. Know that that sun and the moon and the universe all has your back. All right, beautiful card because the, then the journey begins again. All right, Maris. Marissa, you got the mother of air. So this this is one of my favorite illustrations in the deck, by the way. This is our Empowered Spirit deck. Lori Hanna, give her a shout out. This card is about having a discernment, looking and noticing. It's using critical judgment. Now, the thing that we always talk about is not being too critical, especially on oneself, but having the discerning eye. So something may come up this week that you're going to really have to discern. Truth, not truth, is this important, not important. So use that smarts, that logical mind that you have. I know you have it, definitely. All right, Mark. Mark, we got the four of water, and this is a beautiful balance of emotional energy. Just be in that balance, especially as the full moon comes around. And sometimes it does require that you kind of take a chill, sit under the tree, like kind of like the Buddha, sit under the tree and appreciate all the gratitude that you have, especially when it comes to the heart. And to love, appreciate the relationships you're in, because that only brings the energy up and lets you see how much Love and emotion and all that energy is surrounding you. Four is a balance card and water is our emotions and our heart. All right, beautiful card. All right, we got some flowers. We got some hugs. We got some yeses. I don't think I got any no's. <laughs> all right, if I missed you, please do go ahead and post. Yes, over here on, th on Facebook as well. All right, so just to kind of sum it up, 
Also, too, if you're local in the Birmingham area, I do have a Reiki 1 class at the Reiki Association on June 26th, a Sunday. Let me know if you're interested. Take the Radiant Challenge for $133. You get all that membership. You get sessions with me, live trainings. It is well worth it, especially if you feel like you've left your practice drop. All right? Come find me yoga classes at the J on Fridays at 11 or at the Yoga Circle, 815 or Fridays, my restorative is really a great class at 5 p.m. All right, check out the podcast. Let's just close the energy. Take a moment. Reconnecting with your spirit. Just bringing the energy right into your heart. Gratitude for your spirit. Gratitude for the greater spirit. Gratitude for your path. And gratitude for the beautiful cosmos that shine their light always down upon us. Inhaling and exhaling. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Have a great week. Enjoy the light of the moon. To your spirit, namaste.